Greetings all, Last Outrider here with part three of Who Are the Death Watch? Organization of the Death Watch. The Death Watch has at its disposal all of the resources of any other chapter and more. Yet it is organized along entirely different lines, more suited to its unique mission. The key tactical unit into which Death Watch Space Marines are organized is the Kill Team. This small, highly flexible unit represents a band of warriors utterly dedicated to their mission and to one another. The Kill Team may consist of as few as three Battle Brothers or as many as a dozen and their missions are assigned to them by a watch captain. A number of kill teams are brought together under the command of a watch commander, who is responsible for coordinating the missions of all the kill teams under his command. Watch captains. Watch captains are battle brothers that have served in the ranks of the kill teams with great distinction and have undertaken multiple tours of duty with the Death Watch. It is not uncommon for especially skilled battle brothers to be called to serve many times and at some point such veteran alien hunters are likely to be afforded the honor of assuming the rank of Watch Captain. In accepting this role, the individual knows that he will not return to his chapter for many years. For the time for which he serves as Watch Captain is generally counted as a single mission in and of itself. The role of Watch Captain is to oversee one or more kill teams. He is responsible for every aspect of their recruitment, training, equipping, and deployment. It is also the Watch Captain's duty to record the Battle Brothers' deeds in battle and to ensure that, if possible, the remains of the fallen are returned to their parent chapters with all due honors. It is relatively unusual for a watch captain to accompany his warriors on a mission, but he occasionally does so if especially dangerous foes are faced and his personal intervention might turn the battle. In many cases, the watch captain oversees a mission from a nearby, often in a Thunderhawk gunship, especially equipped to serve as a combination of command center, emergency surgery, arsenal, and quarantine facility for captured foes. From his gunship, the watch captain is able to monitor the progress of the mission, seeing exactly what each battle brother sees by way of the multi-band sensors built into the power armor. He can also monitor the physiological condition of his warriors, ensuring that no alien biological contaminants are transmitted onwards on their return. When the watch captains do take to the battlefield, their presence can turn the tide of combat. A watch captain is both a leader with experience in commanding troops 
and inspiring deeds of great heroism and a fearsome warrior in his own right. He has seen every horror the galaxy has to offer and stood firm against them all. He can remain unshaken even in the face of a gargantuan alien horror capable of wiping out an entire army and discern immediately its most vulnerable weakness. The watch captains of the Death Watch are amongst the most heroic of the Imperium servants, even if their names and their deeds are never known to any but their battle brothers. Watch Commanders The Watch Commanders of the Death Watch are amongst the most experienced Space Marine Xeno fighters in the entire galaxy. Prior to their second mint to the Death Watch, a Watch Commander is likely to have progressed to the rank of Captain, and some have even served as Chapter Masters. The role of Watch Commander, like any other position in the Death Watch, is, in theory, only a temporary one. However, most of these who take up the position do so in the knowledge that they may never return to their chapter again. Such a vital and heavy burden is the rank. As such, the duty is a lonely one, for the watch commander sees countless battle brothers serve under him before they return to their chapter and he knows that he will, in all likelihood, never do so. The process by which an individual is elevated to the rank of watch commander varies from case to case, but most have served in the capacity of watch captain. The promotion may come about by default as the previous incumbent is killed in the line of duty, and the most senior watch captain under his command simply takes over. Sometimes the process is driven by the watch captains electing one of their number to take overall command, whilst on other occasions an inquisitor of Ordo Zenos may make the appointment, which must be ratified by the watch captains and other watch commanders. In a handful of cases, the watch commander has actually joined the ranks of the Inquisition, appointing his own replacement before he leaves the watch fortress. Watch commanders hold a position of great authority and responsibility, for they have access to records and archives otherwise only available to the Inquisition. They have full knowledge of the terrible threats they guard against, knowledge that in most cases is only ever imparted upon those whom the highest echelons of the Inquisition hold in great trust. They have the ear of the Inquisition and the Adeptus Astarde, both, and on their authority entire sectors may burn. They, and they alone, hold the access codes to the sealed vaults at the hearts of each watch fortresses. And they hold the power of exterminatus itself in their hands. 
next time, watch fortresses. Until then, bye.